diet to get to 5% body fat, you're gonna feel like cookbook. There is no diet, none, not a single diet in the world that can allow you to be shredded year round and feel amazing. It doesn't work like that. That's why 15% body fat, that is healthy. Coach Greg and Joel Linder, he's about to compete in a men's physique, possibly even classic physique competition. And so we've all said, me included, that Joel Linder, he looks shredded year round, that he could step on stage in a week. Well, he's about to put our money where his mouth is as he's competing in under a week. And listen, the guy's prepping for a show with only 10 days of dieting, but this is a guy who technically, the guy's dieting year round. He starves himself, eats as few calories as he can to get by, drinks a lot of volume, coffees, and so on, and he's doing a lot of cardio. And so Joe, it's not like he just eats whatever he wants, relaxes, and he just has amazing genetics. The guy works very hard to look the way he does. And he's doing so with only HRT. It's not like he's blasting a bunch of drugs, Tren, Anavar, D-Ball, and so on. And so although he does have a lot of size, he could in fact get a lot bigger if he so choose to. But he's just doing the show, going to see how he does. And so I'm wishing him all the best. But just because he looks amazing doesn't mean he actually knows how to diet effectively. And listen, this diet is not sustainable. I can't think of a single person who could stick to this diet year round. It's a morning actually, and I just did my morning cardio. And so first thing he does, he gets up, he does 45 minutes of steady state cardio in zone two. In zone two, you're optimizing your fat burning without pushing too hard. And listen, if you're dieting hard, you're in a deficit, you're not gonna have the energy to push both hard in the gym with weights and push hard in the gym with cardio. If you do both too hard, you're overtraining. And so what Joe's doing, and what I recommend all of you to do, is when you go on a diet, you do moderately intense cardio. Not so hard that you can't breathe, and not so easy that you're hardly doing anything. Zone two. And for Joe, heart rate 135 to 145 beats per minute. We can see we have some veggies. We have some lettuce. And so following this, he has meal one. Finally gets to eat. And what does he choose to eat? A chicken salad. And so what he's doing is in this salad, he's having the dressing on the side. That way he can limit his calories. He decides how much he wants. And so the premise of his diet is to have low fat, low carb, and lots of protein. And he does so while eating a ton of vegetables to feel full. These are low calorie dense foods. I keep preaching this to people. If you eat low calorie dense foods, you're gonna eat a lot of volume. You're gonna be less hungry, less starved, and it's much easier to stick to your diet. And then I go to the sauna and I sweat and I load these nutrients in and I also kickstart my metabolism. For me personally, I wouldn't like that, but we're all different. I don't like to sweat. I quite literally walk around the gym with a fan to keep me cool. If I'm too hot, I don't feel as good. I can't push as hard. Perhaps for Joe, getting hotter, sweating, that makes him feel good. And so please do what makes you happy. And then you get a free coffee and then you get free um, watermelon. So should I eat the watermelon? Maybe not. It's watermelon. He's concerned with the fructose, but there's so few calories in watermelon, I highly, as in strongly suggest you eat as much watermelon as you want while dieting. And well, if you don't know how many calories are in the fruits and vegetables that you're eating, well, you can get my freaking cookbook. You know what it's got? It's got a chart, in order. Top of the list, the calories that are the fewest of any fruit, watermelon. 330 grams of watermelon only has 100 calories. There's no way you're getting fat eating a ton of watermelon. Think of it, 330 grams, only 100 calories. And considering he's about to go to the gym in 45 minutes, don't you think he could use the energy from that watermelon to help propel him during the workout? The longer you train, the more you get fatigued. That's why if you're having these, let's say diet workouts, I usually try to just don't have much rest time in between and just really quick push through. 60 minutes is already enough for me, always. He goes to the gym and he trains for a maximum of 60 minutes because he's running out of energy. He doesn't rest much between sets. He often will do agonist antagonist training as in chest and back. And so it allows him to go from one exercise to the other back and forth with very little rest. And this is exactly how I train, except I train my entire body three times a week. Let's have a good bite, bro. And this is meal number one. And remember, he's not tracking calories, nor is he tracking macros. 
He's simply eating the least he can eat to get by. He's essentially on a starvation diet, as in he's starving himself to get shredded in only 10 days to compete. And now I don't recommend you follow his exact diet, as this guy, he's dieting year-round to stay in the shape he is. For most people, the way Joe looks on any given day, that's more than lean enough to step up on stage. But Joe, he doesn't want to go half-ass. He wants to win this competition. Nine days out, man. I'm still fat, but I'm hiding my shape right now. But we will see in a second. Everyone is always like, I'm always stage ready. And then when it's stage time, I'm not stage ready anymore. And so you can see it gets in your head. I'm not actually stage ready. I'm not lean enough. It's never good enough. If Joel Lindner doesn't look good enough on stage, then what are the rest of us looking like? So this is the wrecked end rage. This is too strong for me. And so before training, he adds a pre-workout pump, no stim variation. Of course we have that at HDLT, but what he doesn't have and what I'd highly recommend he takes is GO2 Max, 100% legal. And what it does is it allows you to do cardio at a faster pace, enhances recovery, allows you to burn more calories and more fat. The main ingredient NMN also has anti-aging properties. And so not only can it help you feel younger, also gonna help you with your cardio, go at a higher pace, burn more calories. And so what are you waiting for? Come on, Joe, you need to try GO2 Max. Give it a shot, look it for it. Use code GREG, 10% off. Click the link in the description. You do all these things that you need to do in order to focus. Focus, did I just hear focus? You can also get G Focus, help you with your mood and cognitive support. Perhaps study harder than last time for that exam. We're gonna do a shape check a bit also so you can get me your comments. What do you think? That I'm still too fat for 10 days out. And so he's gonna show us his physique. Do we think he's too fat for 10 days out? No, Joe, we don't think so. You look fantastic. All you need is a proper peak week. You're gonna look amazing on stage. How people ask me how I stay lean all the time is just about doing cardio, burning calories, burning more calories than you consume. And so Joe describes, look, it's not that complicated to stay lean. You burn off more calories than you take in. And so it's calories in, calories out. Whether it's healthy food or junk food, perhaps a pizza, as long as you're burning more of those calories off than you're eating and you're doing so in moderation, you're gonna be lean. And He's 100% correct. My food intake is still quite easy. So I just starve myself all day long. And then in the evening have a proper meal, so I feel good. And so what's his diet? Well, he eats a chicken salad for breakfast, starves himself all day, and then eats a decent meal at night, which is more vegetables and some protein. Not easy, and no wonder this guy is on edge. No wonder he hates competing in bodybuilding. And what he says is it's not so hard to remain fairly lean year round. The guy looks incredible, but there's a big difference between looking ripped and being this stage shredded, mind blowing, shredded out of your mind. And so that is why he doesn't want to compete very often. He's going to do this show, see how he does, but he doesn't like the diet. He says he's currently 100 kilograms, it's about 221 pounds. But after this, he's had enough, enough with the dieting. He's going to go up to what he says is 115 kilograms, which is about 254 pounds. Remember, it's what's realistic for you. Not everyone can maintain single digit body fat. And so please be healthy, 15% body fat, or perhaps 10 to 20 for most people, that is a healthy weight for most people to remain at year round. Right, so I do my posing routine, and in my posing routine, the fucking alien games would show. They're like, can you do it? I'm like, probably it's gonna happen anyways, but not like I would like it to happen. And so during his routine, his alien chest is gonna be twitching more than last time. And as a judge, I don't think this will hurt him. It won't help him, but I don't think it'll hurt. It'll certainly draw your eyes towards him. You're gonna immediately glance say, what's with that guy? But as he stands and hits that pose with that small waist, with that amazing six pack, guy is going to do amazing on stage. This one, bro, this is also a good measuring point if you're lean yet or not here, this part. And so what Joe shows is no matter how lean you are, you can find the fat, trust me. You go and pinch the crevices you don't see. Even myself, I'm single digit body fat, probably just under 9%. And if I pinch the back fat, it's thick, thicker than last time. And the average person I'm talking to Jim, they'll say, you know, I'm thinking of competing one day. I just need to lose 20 pounds. And I always say, yeah, double that. It's double. No way, there's no way I could lose 40 pounds. Problem is they lose 20 and they discover, wow, you were right. There's easily 20 more, often even more than that. 
And so it's quite shocking to see how much fat you actually have in the body. You can look completely shredded, full six pack and find an inch of fat on your lower back. And so Joe, he's a perfectionist. He's pinching a small layer of fat on the lower back and says, ah, this has got to go. I only got a week to diet this off. And so you can see just how easy it is to fall in the trap of developing body dysmorphia. And if I touch myself, I'm like, okay, for eight days out, it's not as good. But Eight days out, not as good. Look at this guy. Imagine being in this shape eight days out and being like, ah, it's not good enough. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it in time. And so as he goes through some of his poses, he does some men's physique poses, but he's also doing classic physique. And so I certainly hope he's going to compete in both. You never know. He may in fact do better in classic physique than men's physique. You never know. So this is then after cardio and workout and the meal and the sauna and the stuff that you saw, guys. We are now heading uh, to the next meal, actually. But my girlfriend, she made a cookbook wrap. I don't know what the cookbook. By the way, 170. 170 gram calorie. <laughs> and so it's already dark. He hasn't eaten yet. Not since his salad for breakfast. And remember, this guy did 45 minutes of cardio and he trained hard for a friggin hour. It's now dark and he's finally going to eat. He says, give me something low carb. She hands him a wrap and he's like, wrap is a lot of bread. How can it be low carb? She's like, oh, it's 170 calories. And so when you're out eating at fast food restaurants and you're not preparing your own meals, it's hard. You don't know what they put into it. Was it full of oil, butter? You don't know. But Joel, he's not concerned with counting calories. He's eating the fewest amount of food that he can get by on. And so it's not going to matter. Imagine this guy ate a chicken salad. I'm sure he can handle a couple of wraps, even if it's more calories than it says. I like to be shredded, but when it comes to this extreme thing and then not eat and starve yourself so much to get this extreme competition shape, you are, I'm just cookbook. I can kill people, man. I just smack you in the face. And so you see the guy's really struggling. He's opening up. He's like, this is not easy. I'm starving all the time. I'm hot. I just don't want to do this. It's so difficult. He doesn't feel good. He doesn't have a lot of energy. And this is what it takes to be a bodybuilder. And for some reason, people watch the internet. They see us do this. And they think, oh, I want to look like that. And then they go on any diet. They get the single digits. And then they feel the same way. And they say, oh, that diet's horrible. Every diet to get to 5% body fat, you're going to feel like shit. There is no diet, none, not a single diet in the world that can allow you to be shredded year round and feel amazing. It doesn't work like that. That's why 15% body fat, that is healthy. Wow, what is this, man? That looks interesting, man. Holy moly, bro. I mean, the only one that looks good is the one with corn. But as it's fried as well, I have to say no. And so he leaves supper and he wants to eat because the guy is still hungry, but he knows he can't. He has to do this. He has to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose the weight he needs to get shredded. Yeah. So amigos and chicas, of course, man, it was it. Uh, full day of eating. There's his diet in a nutshell. Hopefully you learned something. Remember, if you're looking for any of these supplements or my freaking cookbook, the Circle Diet Book, use code GREG, 10% off. Visit my website, htltsups.com. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. Subscribe, click the bell button, and like this video if you liked it. Do me a favor, like it now. Watch one of the two bloops, and until next time, I am out.